Hello, this is a viewer requested video on how to use a separate switch for dual rates and a second switch for the receiver's flight modes of gyro off, I assume, and AS3X mode and safe mode. Uh, to make this easier for me to do, I'm going to use um, switch B instead of G for the uh, um, dual rates. I'm going to use switch C for the gyro. Normally I use switch B and I put the rates on B so that I have low rates with AS3X, high rates with AS3X, and safe mode with high rates. Uh, it simplifies things greatly. And I only need to set up audio announcements on one switch. But they wanted to use two switches, separate switches for the gyro and the rates. And they wanted to automatically go to high rates when they switch to safe mode because safe mode needs high rates to have the uh, proper bank and pitch limits um, and stuff like that. So. I'm using C for the gyro and B for the rates. And it's easy to change this to a different switch. So we go to logical switch setup. And so I set up this logical switch and I named it dual rates because that's what it's controlling. The B switch is what I'm using for dual rates. The C switch is what controls gyro. So what you have to do to start is you have to say that zero is equal to something and one is something else and two is something else. So in this case, zero is low rates and one is mid rates and two is high rates. And so with switch C in position zero, which would be gyro off in my case, Switch B moves it from low rates to mid rates to high rates. And if I go to the middle position of C, then I turn AS3X on. I go to flight mode two in the receiver. So you've got high rates, mid rates, and low rates. Well, if I'm in low rates and I flip switch C to position two for safe, it's going to automatically go to the next column and all of the choices are two, which is high rates. If I change the um, dual rate switch B, which he wants to use G, if I move it to the middle, it says mid rates, but it's still in safe mode and it's still in high rates. So this is what I don't like about this is that the audio announcements don't always tell you what's really going on. Uh, in safe mode, if you got switch C in position two and you flip switch B, it's going to tell you high rates, mid rates and low rates, but it's really in safe mode and high rates. Now, when you come out of safe mode, now, it says the correct thing as far as as far as rates go so now what do we do with this logical switch so let's go to dual rates and i have the switch set to dual rates this is that logical switch that i created it's going to be at the end of the list so if switch C is in zero or one, switch B gives me low, mid, and high rates. And this is true for aileron. And actually that should say dual rates also. I missed that a while ago. All three of these should be set to dual rates. Otherwise, this doesn't work correctly. 
So now um, the rotor is set to the dual rates logical switch and the elevator is set to the dual rates logical switch and the ailerons. So now in low rates it's position zero, mid rates is the middle, and high rates is two. Now if I flip the switch back to low rates and I flip switch C to the middle to AS3X, it stays in low rates. If I go to safe mode, it goes to high rates, which is what we need. Now, if I flip the B switch to go to any other rate, nothing, nothing changes. It tells me it did, but switch C has locked it into high rates and safe mode. So now the announcements, a couple of ways to set up the announcements. I have it set up where B tells me what it's set to every time I move it. And I have switch C for the gyro to tell me what the gyro is doing. Um, I have to use an I instead of a Y, otherwise it doesn't pronounce gyro correctly. But uh, the alternative, normally B is the dual rate switch. I can turn this one off and turn this one on and it's set up exactly the same except that the logical switch is controlling it. So if you use this, and I don't know if it's going to show, yeah it does right here. Uh, I have the C switch in position zero so if I move switch B it says mid rates, high rates, low rates just like it should. If I go to the middle position which is AS3X mode, again, it announces where it is. But if I go to safe mode, which is position two of switch C, it goes to high rates and says high rates. Um, it didn't say safe. And now the B switch doesn't say anything as I flip it because the logical switch is controlling the announcements rather than the B switch itself. So I don't really like that. That's kind of clunky. And when I flip switch C back to the middle, it says AS3X mode, but it doesn't tell me what rates I'm in. So that's why I put mine on one switch. I just don't like the confusion between using two switches and I really don't need a mid rate. All I need is low and high and safe. So I use the B switch for dual rates and I put the flight modes on B switch, but I don't have an off position for the gyro. Um, I have uh, low rates with AS3X, high rates with AS3X and safe uh, with high rates on one switch. So, Anyway, there's, there's a few ways to do the audio announcements. There may be a better way. But if you want to use G instead of B, all you have to do is go in here and change this to G. And it works just the same. It's just a different switch. And if you go into the... Um, audio events, switch change reports, instead of B right here, change it to G. So that now the G switch makes the announcement. The C switch doesn't need to, cha doesn't need to change. And then um, the dual rates, if you go back there, You still got, uh, let me go to switch G. See, I didn't have to change this because we're using the logical switch. So it works just fine on G and C, just like you want. So anyway, 
that's how you do it but it's not my preferred way so zero is low rates one is mid rates two is high rates the first column is with C zero the second column is C1 which is the middle position the third column is C2 and switch G changes the uh, the rates so you can use whatever switches you want but the trick is to assign each number to a function and then set it up. So anyway, um, when I switch uh, switch when I flip switch C, so you got three flight modes. And did I show that? Channel assign? I think I did. Switch C is on the gyro channel. So, not too hard. I just don't like the audio announcements. So, anyway, there you go. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.